Space Angels is l the leading source of capital for space startups. So talk to us about the importance of success or failure with this particular mission. Right. I think it's important to understand what that means and what constitutes a success. Um, expectations have been tempered. Um, I think that success at this point is getting off the pad and away from the pad so that it doesn't damage the pad. Um, from even there, if it crashes, it's, it's Even a if success? it crashes, even if it blows up, they're going to get a lot of important data, I think. Um, again, this is the first um, time that SpaceX has launched anything this large. It's the biggest rocket since the Saturn V in the Apollo era. And if they so, can pull this off, what does that mean? If it is a, if it's anything less than a flawless orbit to Mars, um, uh, inserting the Tesla with a man inside to Mars, um, I think it's going to give um, some of the people, um, some of the critics of SpaceX, some fodder. Um, and additional ammo for them to go after them. I think if it's a, if it's a success, what it does is it gives NASA um, an option, uh, more options. I mean, something other than SLS, right? And something that costs a tenth of what it would cost to do it on the government rocket. So, say it's less than flawless. Hmm. Is the criticism warranted? Or do you think, you know, any sort of experimentation here and, and innovation is a step forward? I think the criticism is healthy, but I also think that we've stagnated in space for a long time. Mm. We went from um, launching our first satellite to launching our first human um, to putting I'll boots on the, on, uh, we'll the moon. Um, and then we slowly have been regressing since that point, down to low Earth orbit, to the shuttle, and now we don't even have um, the ability to take U.S. astronauts to uh, low Earth orbit. So we're slowly um, getting back to that position of U.S. leadership in space. And um, this type of innovation is, is necessary in order to, for us to take this next step and realize our future. So Elon Musk speaking on a call today echoed sort of what you've just said. This is a test mission, so we don't want to set expectations of perfection. I would consider it a win if it just clears the pad. Talk to us about the market for private launchers. So it, it's, it's an interesting dynamic because 16 years ago when SpaceX was first founded, there wasn't a market for launchers really at all. Um, and the criticism was that there was only one customer and it was the government. And that's what we're hearing the same sort of criticism today in this deep space missions. Why would you build such a large rocket? The only customer that's out there is the government. Um, well, when SpaceX first came on the scene, I mean, what they did was they realized, hey, there's a lot of money exchanging hands for satellite data. I can think a lot of a lot of other uses for this data. and. Um, but why don't I see these, um, this, this being adopted more broadly in the market? Well, it has to do with the fact that launch is very expensive and there's no transparency and so you don't know how much it costs to get to orbit.